Hello everyone. Hello. Thanks for inviting us to this meeting. Oh, you're all welcome. We are going to be discussing the new education policy or NEP today. That's great. I can't wait to hear what's new in the policy. I think it's a great step and will lead to a transformation in the education system in India. I am all ears. First the big change, instead of the 10 plus 2 system, we will now have the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 system of schooling, where each set of years will be earmarked for handling certain competencies. The initial 5 years will be focused on achieving basics of reading, writing and numeracy. The children will be exposed to a second language but the teaching will mainly be carried out in the mother tongue. This is because the years 2 to 8 are best for learning languages and also 85% of a child's cumulative brain development happens by the age of 6. So, it is very important that appropriate care and stimulation of the brain happens in the early years to ensure healthy brain development and growth. Really? I didn't know that. Yes, and surely we wouldn't want the children to feel disconnected with their learning by creating gaps on using a language other than the mother tongue in the crucial years of development. Oh yes. We surely wouldn't want that. We saw that happening a lot in the current system. You're right. Anyway all that would change now. The MEP also suggests flexible, multi-faceted, multi-level, play-based, activity-based, and inquiry-based learning, consisting of alphabets, languages, numbers, counting, colors, shapes, indoor and outdoor play, puzzles and logical thinking, problem-solving, drawing, painting, visual art, craft, drama, puppetry, music etc. Oh, wow! And that's not all, while the children do these different activities, the focus would also be on developing social capacities, sensitivity, good behavior, courtesy, ethics, personal and public cleanliness, teamwork and cooperation. The early childhood care and education or ECCE curriculum would help attain optimal outcomes in the physical and motor development, cognitive development, socio-emotional ethical development, culture, artistic and aesthetic development communication skiing development and of course the early language, literacy, and numeracy benchmarks. That's great. These are very important areas of development, and some do get neglected. And, you know what the NCERT will develop a national curricular and pedagogical framework for early childhood care and education for children up to the age of 8 in two parts, one for 0 to 3 year olds and one for 3 to 8 year olds. The government plans to achieve the goals of ECCE in a phased manner. They also plan to strengthen the Anganwadis upgrading the infrastructure and teacher education. That's good. The new Ministry of Education appears to be doing a good job. We have already seen a lot of transformational training happening to prepare for implementation of the NEP. Yes, a lot of manuals and guidelines are also in the pipeline. The ones that have been released are pretty good too. CBSE is also collaborating with a number of international bodies for bringing in and sharing new ideas. Yes. I have attended a few webinars myself. The government hopes that every student will achieve foundational literacy and numeracy by grade 3. The changes envisioned at the higher levels would be possible only if this basic foundational need is met. And you all teachers have a huge role to play in achieving these targets. Yes. That's true. A teacher's role is definitely very important. Focus on local teachers who speak the mother tongue and also achieving a pupil-teacher ratio of under 30 is to 1 would be aimed for. Right? Hardly any learning happens when there are 45, 50 or more students in a classroom. Also, there will be focus on building digital and other libraries, public-private and philanthropic partnerships for education, forming of school clusters and sharing of resources. Focus will also be on child nutrition. An undernourished child can definitely not learn in an optimal manner. What about the middle school? What changes do we have there? The middle school will have three years, it will build on the pedagogical and curricular style of the early years, but with the introduction of subject teachers for learning and discussion of the more abstract concepts of all subjects. Experimental learning within subjects and exploring the connections between subjects would be encouraged at this stage. More specialized subjects and subject teachers will be introduced at this level. And what about the secondary stage? The secondary stage will comprise of four years of multidisciplinary study where the subjects will be handled with greater depth, critical thinking, greater flexibility and a focus on life aspirations of students. The board exams would continue for classes 10th and 12th, 
but the format would be modified so that it does not lead to undue stress and encourage rote learning in the way it happens nowadays. I am sure the students will be happier for that. Now they focus on mugging up a limited amount of syllabus to score well in the exams. They would surely be better off studying subjects without hard boundaries and enjoy learning more. I heard there will be two levels of many subjects. Yes, that's true, just like they have created two levels for mathematics. The overall curriculum content will also be reduced, to make way for more holistic, inquiry-based, discussion-based, discovery-based and analysis-based learning that students can enjoy. Assessment will be for the enhancement of learning including assessment as of and for learning. I don't understand, what is meant by assessment as, of and for learning? See, assessment can be done for learning to modify pedagogy or learning styles, assessment would also be carried out to see how much has been learned, whether the learning outcomes have been achieved, and also how to go further. Yes. I get it now. Many things that we have all already started working on will be continued, like art and sports integration, focus on learning Indian art and culture and the three language formula in the middle years. A foreign language can also be opted for as the third language, just as it is done now. We have to prepare our students for a global world, isn't it? Sure, if possible, one should learn foreign languages also, why not? There is also a proposal to expand and strengthen the open schools like the NIOS this will help those students who cannot physically attend regular school for some reason. There will also be increased focus on technology and other ways of learning. Bagless days will also be encouraged where learning of skills like carpentry etc may be undertaken by inviting guest teachers and craftsmen. Indian knowledge systems, including tribal knowledge, indigenous and traditional ways of thinking, ancient Indian knowledge related to various subjects will also be given a lot of importance. Indian culture and heritage is definitely worth preserving and learning from, and what better way to learn them in school? I agree. Constitutional values, our ethical systems, values and concepts of Ahimsa, Siva, Swachita, Mishkan Karma, Satya, Shanti are extremely important for students to learn and practice. The curriculum and pedagogy will be redesigned to be strongly rooted in Indian and local context and ethos in terms of culture, traditions, heritage, customs, language, philosophy, geography, ancient and contemporary knowledge, societal and scientific needs etc. Anything for students with special needs, gifted children or students with special talents? Oh yes, the teachers will encourage and guide such children and also provide them with supplementary enrichment materials. The schools will also encourage project-based and topic-centered clubs and circles like science, music, poetry circles etc. But are our teachers trained for all these changes? Oh, a lot of focus will be on teacher training and education, with a four-year integrated B.Ed program plus plenty of professional development options like short courses, 50 hours mandatory training every year for both teachers and school leaders. The B.Ed program will also have two-year and one-year options for graduates and post-graduates who want to become teachers. We would like to attract the best talent to teaching. There are some incentives planned for teacher recognition, promotions and even salary raises to motivate teachers to do their best. Wow, that's great. Thanks so much for this valuable information and for helping us understand the new education policy. I feel the changes will be welcomed by all and create a new happy environment in schools. All the best everyone. Thanks for your time. Thanks everyone.